In this video, I break down, or what I'm gonna do is, um, if a lady comes in with an undercut, you know, sort of like mine, where it's on the top shore on the underneath, uh, how to get rid of it without actually just going really short. So let's just jump into it and what we're going to do, you can see here, we're going to get rid of the undercut, the underneath part here. I'm going to comb it all forward, it's still pretty long on top and we're going to try and keep some of that length. Even though we're starting right in the crown, I'm still going to section it from ear to ear just to take that forward because I do want to keep that longer and I'll go into that in a little bit. So one thing that I want you to keep in mind, even though it's short hair, you should always keep your sections nice and clean so you don't get lost in the haircut so you know where you're at all the time. So the first thing we're going to do is connect that back part where the crown is or right above the occipital bone. We just want to take from the shortest point to the longest point and we're going to lose that undercut in the back area. So taking my first section, I'm just creating a guideline. Um, you can see here I'm going to pull it directly out from the head. Um, and open palm so I can see what I'm doing and taking it to the shortest point. So I'm going to speed this video up otherwise it would go for 20 minutes and I doubt you'd watch the whole thing. So let's just speed it up but all I'm doing is following my guideline and getting rid of that undercut in the back here. So now that the back's connected, let's move on to the side. You can see right here, just taking a section right around the parietal ridge. And I'm going to take diagonal forward sections to keep a little bit of length in the front, but dragging it to the shortest point. So my sections are going to be diagonal forward, you can see right here, and um, just slightly over directing back, but cutting to the shortest point. Again, open palm so I can see the guideline I'm creating. So the idea is to get rid of the undercut, so we cut everything to the shortest point. Now I do want to keep some length on the top, I just don't want to end up shaving the whole head. I want to give her a haircut, but lose the undercut. So as I get to the front, you can see I'm slightly over directing back, just to keep that little bit of length in the front that we're going to go into later. And basically just repeat the same on the other side. You can see here my sectioning off just to keep that length on top, but we're getting rid of the undercut. So what I'm going to do is slightly diagonal forwards again, bringing everything to the shortest point. So as I said earlier, even though it's short here, I keep my sections really clean, open palm so I can see my guideline, shortest point to shortest point. Now that we've got the sides connected, let's move on to the top where all that length is. Now we don't want an undercut, so we don't want it to hang over. So I'm going to start right on top of the head here, right on the crown, and I'm going to pull everything back to my original guideline. Again, keeping my sections clean, open palm so I can see where my guideline is. So as I said, I do want to keep some length on top, so I'm going to over direct everything back to that original guideline. You can see here I'm pulling everything back to that section to keep the length but to lose the undercut. So now onto the front. So what we want to do is lose that length in the front just a little bit. So I'm going to section it off right here and pull everything to the side and take that corner off. Now you can do this any way you want. You can keep it longer if you want, but I like to lose the corner and just give it a little bit of texture.
I'm gonna dry it. All I'm using is a bit of lemon sage thickening spray that I showed you the wrong side of the bottle because I want to dirty it up a little bit. I don't want to put wax in it, but I want it to have that grittiness. So I put in a little bit of the thickening spray before I dry it. And then just go through and dry it with my hands. I don't use a brush on this haircut because I want it to have that lived in sort of look. So this is the end result. Look, I really love this haircut. I think it's cool. It has that um, lot of texture, but you can see the undercut's gone in here. But um, anyways, listen, if this is the first time you've come across one of my videos, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you know when I upload, and um, it'd be much appreciated. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this video. Let me know if you got anything out of it. And uh, yeah, come back and check out what we've got going on next week.